Hey guys, so this video is going to be showing you that Google Now has been installed on the Droid Bionic ice cream sandwich leaks and it's working fairly well. Um, so just as a quick little tutorial, this is not going to get into a lot of details, but to install this uh, application on your phone, you need to have two requirements. The first is you need to be running the ice cream sandwich leak that uh, has been out for about a month or two now. And uh, I have to say that it's very smooth. It's almost perfectly flawless. I haven't had any issues or data drops or anything like that. Uh, the second requirement is that you have a rooted phone. So once you install Ice Cream Sandwich, you need to root your phone and you can do that uh, through a number of methods. Uh, just search Google for Root Droid Bionic Ice Cream Sandwich Leak. Um, so once you do that, you need to install a recovery of your choice. So you can use either Bootstrap Recovery or you can use Clockwork Mod Recovery um, a recovery like that. You can't use SafeStrap. Uh, I tried that. It doesn't work because it doesn't allow you to flash zips over your safe system. But, um, or I'm sorry, your unsafe system. But Bootstrap Recovery and Clockwork Mod Recovery will both work. And you then need to download the zip file, um, which I will include a link to in the comments. And once you download that, it, you don't unzip it. Just save it directly to your phone. Then boot into Recovery and select the updating zip uh, apply the zip from the SD card where you saved it and uh, reboot and Google Now will be installed. So just to show you that Google Now does work, you can access it by pressing the search button and uh, I apologize for the quality of the recording here but hopefully you can see that there's a weather card right down at the bottom here and there's also um, right now it's showing me at the top a sports card for the Orioles and Yankees because I searched for the Yankees score recently. So um, I'm just going to go into settings here and show you the kinds of things that you can do. Uh, there's uh, settings for weather, traffic, your appointments, so it pulls in information from your calendar. There's ones for travel if you have plans to go uh, you know, to a different country, use a different language. Um, there's also flights, so if you book the flight, uh, public transit, if you're near a bus stop, it will pop up with a card with the next departing train or bus. Um, places, there's nearby places that are close by, and sports, if you search for sports teams. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a, uh, a quick search here. Um, actually, you can see up here in the top that it has another card. It's showing me for Orioles and Yankees, so when I click on that, It'll open up Google Now and it'll show me that card, hopefully. Another uh, issue that I notice is that it can be slow when loading certain things. So um, if you're doing like a web search, it is kind of slow loading the results. But the voice search does seem to work pretty well, so I'm just going to try that for a couple seconds. How tall is the Empire State Building? Google. How tall is the Empire State Building? Empire State Building is 1,454 feet tall. So you can see there um, some issue I was having when I pressed the microphone button. This is the screen that I was looking for. And uh, sometimes it goes directly to a search. Sometimes it opens up Google Now. It's kind of glitchy. But when it works, it works pretty well. Where is the nearest restaurant? See, it's kind, of, uh, it's kind of stuck in some sort of a mode right now. So let's... Where is the nearest restaurant? Getting directions. Okay, there we go. So it's able to find a, a nearby restaurant and uh, display directions for that. What is the capital of Florida? capital of Florida is Tallahassee. So, as you can see, it, uh, it does reply with some simple searches, uh, and it does seem to beat Siri in those searches, based on some other videos that I've seen. So that's everything. I apologize again for the quality of the video. I'm doing this on a MacBook webcam, so, uh, and it doesn't seem to like the brightness of the screen. But if you have any questions about this or need some help installing, uh, 
Google now, let me know, and I'll try to help you out. Thanks for watching.